Hey everyone, today's video is about when Nibakugo kisses a girl in front of you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. The night air is crisp. As you, Bakugo, and Kurushima stroll down the street together. It's supposed to be a relaxing night out after a long week of hero work. There's the three of you, enjoying each other's company. The neon lights of the city illuminate your path. Casting a soft glow on Kurushima's bright red hair and Bakugo's spiky blonde locks. As you walk, you're sandwiched between the two of them, your hands brushing occasionally with theirs. Kurushima, always the affectionate one, wraps an arm around your shoulder, pulling you close. Hey, let's grab some food. I'm starving. He says with a white grin, his sharp teeth glinting in the light. Bakugo smirks, his usual confident and cocky demeanor showing through. You're always hungry, Shatir. He teases, though there's no real bite to his words. He chuckle at their banter, feeling warm and content between them. Food sounds good to me. How about that ramen place we like? Perfect. Kurushima replies enthusiastically, already steering you both towards the restaurant. The three of you settle into a booth at the ramen shop, the familiar scent of broth and spices filling the air. As you wait for your food, you find yourself lost in conversation, enjoying the easy camaraderie you share. It's moments like these that makes you appreciate how lucky you are to have them both in your life. But then, something unexpected happens. Just as you all were laughing at a story Kurushima was telling, you notice the girl approaching your table. She's someone you vaguely recognize. A fan who's been seen hanging around the agency a few times. Bakugo, she exclaims with a bright smile, ignoring you and Kurushima completely. I've been looking for you everywhere. Can I get a picture? Bakugo raises an eyebrow, but doesn't seem too bothered. Yeah, sure. He mutters, standing up from the booth. He exchanges a smile, glance with Kurushima, who gives you a reassuring smile. He's always the one to keep things calm and he appreciated that about him. But there's a flicker of something in his eyes, something he doesn't say out loud. The girl is overly enthusiastic as she positions herself next to Bakugo. Pulling out her phone, you watch, trying to ignore the pang of irritation in your chest. It's not that you're jealous. Well, maybe a little, but you know how Bakugo can be with fans. He's usually indifferent, never giving them more than what's necessary. But then, something unexpected happens. As she leans in for a picture, Bakugo, without thinking, it seems, leans down and kisses her cheek. It's a quick pick, almost automatic, but it feels like a punch to the gut. You freeze. Kurushima's grip on your shoulder tightens slightly. You don't know what to say or do, the shock rendering you speechless. The girl giggles snapping the picture and thanking him previously, before bouncing away, leaving you and Kurshima in stunned silence. Bakugo returns to the booth as if nothing happened, sliding into his seat with a casual shrug. What? He asks, when he notices your wide eyes and Kurshima's tense expression. Kurshima is the first to speak, his voice low but firm. Bakugo, what the hell was that? Bakugo frowns, clearly confused. What was what? The kiss. You finally managed to say, your voice trembling slightly. You literally just kissed her. Realization dawns on his face, and for a moment he looks like he's about to argue. But then, he sees the hurt in your eyes, and Kurushima's protective stance beside you. Shit. Bakugo mutters running a hand through his hair. It didn't mean anything. It was just a fan. I wasn't thinking. He bites your lip, trying to keep your emotions in check. It may have not meant something to you, but it meant something to me. He say quietly. Kurushima nods, backing you up. We've got to understand how that looks, man. 
We're a team. All three of us. You can't just go around kissing other people like it's no big deal. Bakugo's eyes flicker with guilt, and he leans back in his seat, crossing his arms. I get it, okay? I screwed up, but I didn't mean to hurt you. There's a pause, the tension thick between you. You glance at Kirishima, who meets your gaze with a soft, reassuring smile. He always knows how to make you feel better, even in situations like this. It's not just about hurting none, Katsuki. Kirishima says, using Bakugo's first name, a sign that he's serious. It's about respecting what you have. You're not just friends. You're more than that. Bakugo nods slowly. His usual bravado is trapped away with their combined disappointment. Yes, I know. I'll make it up to you. You take a deep breath, feeling some of the tension ease. I just... I don't want to feel like I'm competing with random people for your attention. You know, we're supposed to be a team after all. Bakugo reaches across the table, taking your hand in his. You're not competing with anyone. You are the only one I care about. Bakugo grins, his usual positivity returning. Well, as long as you know. But seriously, man, no more random kisses, okay? Bakugo chuckles, shaking his head. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No more random kisses. He can't help but smile at that, feeling the warmth of their affection, surrounding you once again. Good. Now let's eat before the food gets cold. The three of you settle into the comfortable rhythm that you share, the moment of tension behind you. As you dip into your ramen, you can't help but feel grateful for the bond that you have with Kirishima and Bakugo. No matter what challenges come your way, you know that you'll face them together. And that's all that matters. And as the three of you continue eating, the conversation flows back into familiar territory, with Kirishima enthusiastically recounting a recent mission, and Bakugo throwing in his usual sharp comments. The tension from earlier lingers slightly, but the warmth of their presence helps it ease away. And after you finish your meals, you all step outside, the night air cooling your heated emotion. Kirishima pulls you closer to him as you walk, his arm protectively wrapped around your waist. Bakugo walks on your other side, his hand brushing against yours before he boldly takes it, interlacing your fingers with his. And, as the three of you settle in for the night, you can't help but feel grateful that you have them. No matter what, the love and connection that you share with Bakugo and Kirishima was stronger than any fleeting moments of doubt. And that was enough for you. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and goodbye!